My name is Nehal Desai from Learners Hub Mumbai. I'm a senior reading educator at Learners Hub. Uh, my story is called A Sleepless Night. Let me tell you something about the story. Four friends set to have a memorable camp and what started as a fun dream holiday was soon to become the worst of the nightmares. Inside of them was bursting with excitement. Reema, Rishi, Samir and Sakshi had planned meticulously for the weekend as at the jungle camp. It would be the first night out since school. Sakshi was elated at the thought of camping. Her extensive planning for the barbecue and the action-packed jungle adventure was something that made the pulse a race car. They started off early in the evening to reach the destination before sunset. Now what started as a fun dream holiday was soon to become the worst of the nightmares. The moon was a white balloon and the car was moving faster than the speed of light. Suddenly they heard a big thud. The car had the most horrendous fall in a huge trench in the center of the jungle. The car complained as the keys were turned on. Rishi and Samir got off the car and tried to shove off the trench with all their might but gravity seemed to be working against them. Sakshi and Rima were frantically trying to call the camp authorities but it was as tough as nails. With not a soul in sight they become hysterical. It was a dark night. There seemed to be a chill in the air. The night was not as rosy as they had pictured it to be. The wind howled in the night and thunder was grumbling like an angry fire. After several unsuccessful attempts to restart the car, they gave up, picked up the camping gear and started walking in the dark without a clue of their destination. The moonlit night was getting fearsome and ghastly with each passing moment. Soon, Rishi switched on his emergency light and they set off in the jungle. With no soul in sight and the night getting deadlier, Rima started crying frantically. Her tears were like a river flowing down her cheeks. Sakshi and Samir gathered all their courage. They tried soothing her. It's fine, said Ravi. Calm down. This too shall pass. We are all here with you. We have a hunter's knife and a torch and we are not sure if anybody can harm us. So let's fight this together. They all hugged each other, calming down a bit, comforting each other. They started off. They sheltered themselves under a gigantic tree. The leaves were shuddering. Whoosh! They could feel the scary rustling of the snakes around them. The heart was in their mouth. With the night getting fearful and ghastly, all they could think was to reach the campsite or reach back home. Their stomachs were rumbling like thunder, with hunger and fear gripping them together. All they could think of was to have a sip of juice and some crackers, which luckily they got from the backpacks. Now the spine was tingling with the sound of nocturnal animals and this was scary and hair raising. Finally they settled down under a huge tree, made a bonfire which made them feel at ease. Suddenly like adding fire to fuel they could see an airy and terrifying jackal. The sight of it was ghastly. All Samir could think of was to scare it off with a fire stick, which surprisingly worked. With fear gripping them, Rima suggested they would inflate their sleeping bags and sleep around the bonfire. Even though they were disoriented, miffed and tired, they all agreed. Samir and Rishi inflated the sleeping bags, added some more wood to the bonfire and tried sleeping. Finally, they tried sleeping with the but with the leaves hustling and bustling around them, 
and the nocturnal animals kept them awake all night but with the first rays of sunrise in the morning the four friends with the bloodshot eyes woke up with more confidence and courage this time bright as the rising sun finally they took off their camping gears started walking towards the campsite finally they reached seeing other humans in blood and flesh was like water in the desert with a sigh of relief they finally set back home taking along horrendous memories of the sleepless night thank you